Ross, we spoke to you after the Blackburn game. It's been a couple of games since then. Have you found life in League Two? Yeah, I've enjoyed it to be fair. Obviously, um, after the Blackburn game, we've got a couple of results that went away, a couple that didn't. But uh, yeah, it's been good. I'm, I'm, I'm loving life at the moment. It's always good because you've put in some impressive performances. You've showed the fans what you're all about. And I suppose that's exactly what, what you want to do during the minutes you get. Yeah, I want to score as many goals and be involved in as many goals as I can. Um, I think uh, on Saturday going against Grimsby, I could have had at least one. Um, and I definitely should have had a penalty, but it is what it is. Um, but yeah, I've, I've been enjoying life. See, the black eye's gone down ever so slightly now, but it's one of those where you seem to be an all action midfielder, and that's exactly what you can bring to this team, isn't it? Yeah, the rest said there was no contact, so I'm not sure about that one, but uh, yeah, I, I like to get around. I'm, I'm quite small in stature, but I like to, to play with the big boys to say. Um, but yeah, I'm enjoying it. I suppose being in a more physical league, so to say, does that almost enhance what you can do on the ball when it, uh, people are not necessarily expecting it at times, are they? Yeah, I wouldn't say it's more physical, obviously. Scotland is quite tough as well. And then obviously growing up in Ireland, I've I've grown up in, in an area in Ballymun where I've always been with, with bigger lads than myself. But uh, yeah, it's a bit... People probably look at me as a small in stature and, um, and probably can think they can just leave me alone. But uh, no, I don't mind the challenge. Those previous experiences, like you just mentioned, Scotland and growing up in Ireland as well, I suppose that helps you as well, you know, coming into this group and coming into this division? Yeah, 100%. Um, obviously, going in with tackles with, with Big Skip, uh, I'm not expected to come out on top, but uh, I'll, always, I'll always put my foot in and I'm not afraid of a challenge. We're going to this weekend's game against Colchester. They picked up a pretty impressive result against you know a side that were banging form in Gillingham last time out. But we've been impressive ourselves at home so far. It's about building on that one. Yeah, they're obviously coming off a, a good result and we're coming off um, maybe a disappointing result in terms of our stands where we want to go. And on Saturday we thought we could have got a lot more out of the game, especially the first half. But uh, now we're looking forward to Saturday and hopefully we can kick on and get a couple more wins at home as well. Seems to be one where we've had to almost be patient at home and, and be clinical when those opportunities come around. It's about being exactly that again on Saturday, isn't it? Yeah, I think against Stockport we, we were really good. Um, maybe against Bryant we weren't weren't at our best. Um, and then on Saturday I think we, we deserved more than more than a point, but it was good to get at least a point coming from behind them. Um, and hopefully on Saturday we can get all three points. Showed the resilience of the group as well, didn't it? To come back from that setback, whereas previously goals seem to have just sort of flooded in at that point. Yeah, I think we've been been ahead in quite a few games and conceding late on. Um, hopefully on Saturday we can get ahead and stay ahead. Um, I think we've been decent in and around the middle pitch and then in both boxes we've maybe not been as ruthless as we should be, but we've got a good group and we're, we're all positive for Saturday.